Hello again. This is another video on Hornby Double O maintenance. Today I'd like to discuss some of the different motors and chassis that drive our locos. Okay, here we have a what is known as a horseshoe chassis motor and it's named so because of the typical horseshoe shape on the on the magnet this one, this actual one is pre-war so it's uh, it was made in the late 1930s so it's very old and it uses very old technology as far as the magnetic material is it's very similar to the uh, to the block magnet uh, chassis that we discussed earlier but uh, there are one or two differences besides the uh, besides the magnet this actually has some parts missing but uh, we can ignore that uh, the, the main difference being in the in the brush keepers these have a different shape to them they're longer and they have a um, have a, a, a land here that allows you to actually adjust the pressure on the spring this is because these motors were a little bit well they are a little bit more sensitive than the later block magnet technology used um, I don't advise you to remove this magnet unless it's absolutely necessary and if you do I would get a tool like this. This is a pair of uh, these are snap ring pliers or circlet pliers, and uh, this can be fitted in the in the top of the magnet like that, and used in here just to spread the magnet wide enough that you are able to just raise it off. If you try and take it off, otherwise they're very tight and uh, you'll probably need to use a screwdriver and uh, because the clearance is uh, very close on this type of style of magnet as well the clearance to the armature you'll probably damage the armature another way I suppose you could uh, remove it would be to take the the top bearing out first and then try and remove the magnet with a, with a screwdriver or something but I don't really recommend that and then putting it back together would be much more difficult these uh, these magnets are also adjustable they can they can be slid this way and also twisted this way so you can centralize them around the armature a little bit but again to do that it's better just to put this in there very carefully and spread it just a, a, a tad and then do the fine adjustments okay let's see this uh, this uh, in action now these magnets are very weak and this one in particular is a weak one I have tried to magnetize it on my magnetizer but you can see there's nothing, hardly anything at all there no, I can barely feel any attraction at all uh, but I think my magnetizer, is, as it's homemade, might not be quite powerful enough to uh, to give this the right uh, the right zap. So anyway, we'll try this one. It, it does work, I believe. There we go. Now, if we look at the amp meter. You see the amps are they're very high there. They're probably on the limit or even exceeding the limit. Wind, the windings on these as well as we've got, got about 0.6 amps so the windings on these are actually a different uh, gauge wire to the block magnet to the block magnet they're a finer gauge so I think the the recommended amperage for these is a little bit lower than the 6.5 of the uh, of the block magnet motor so there is there are some alternatives if you have a problem like this is one you can 
there is for sale this uh, is again one of these uh, super neo magnets they're quite expensive but they are they are strong and they they will improve it but to put that on you have to remove the the old magnet it'll ruin the the uh, appearance of the although it's covered in a body it's uh, many people don't like to do that I prefer to leave that magnet on there and try and make an alternative way of doing this so what I've come up with is to try and boost this uh, this magnet up a bit using uh, some uh, small these are six millimeter cubed neo magnets there uh, you can see that very strong and uh, oh, they, they cost pennies really so I use a you can you can okay I use use a um, compass to to try and uh, set this up to get the uh, sense the right way so the train travels in the right direction so what I do is I just hold the compass over the top like so let me pick the camera up and uh, you can see the north is uh, north is to the left then I uh, I'll take a pair of magnets the six mil magnets and just split them open keeping them in the same it's very difficult to do keep them in the same direction same sense so they'll go together like that later don't put them too close together because they'll just fly together and then place this in between them and you can see I've got north south if they were if it was the other way around then uh, you just change them so the uh, compass is pointing in the right direction okay now you can just take these magnets pick them straight up like that and then just put them straight onto the outside of the horseshoe in that manner okay now we go back to the to the test track I'll give it another try. You see the direction is correct, but now we look at the amps and you can see a, a vast improvement. From about 0.6 to about less than 0.4. Okay. Now of course this uh, this won't fit in the body like that it's, it's much too uh, much too wide so the idea is to just let's just adjust this a little bit so we can see it a bit better the idea is just to take the magnet and push it around the corner tipping it right around the corner just like that and again with the other one just tip it around the corner just like that now you can check that it's not touching. It's, it's close to, but it uh, it doesn't touch the armature. I just turn the armature, and it's it's free from there. Okay, so that uh, doesn't look so bad. Okay, let's try that again. So I think that's a a good option for uh, for horseshoe motors. Okay, now let's get go on to 
a different uh, a different model. Here we have the uh, the 8F. Uh, disconnected the the plug out of the tender with the pick pick pickups on the bottom, and I've unscrewed it ready just to save a bit of time. Okay, this is the the, the ring field model, so called because the motor uh, the the magnet is a, is a ring. Okay, there's a screw or two in the bottom. You can unscrew them, and then. The motor lifts off just like that, makes it very much easier for, for, for maintenance. The chassis can be cleaned and oiled and just in the same manner as previously we spoke about. Okay, this, uh, this has springs for the brushes mounted on two, two little pillars there. So, and the magnets actually have a little slot in them that um, th th this spring wire goes into. They're a little bit different from the, uh, the the brushes. I mean, the brushes are a little bit different. Now, there's one spring taken off, and we'll lift the other one out as well, and that goes there. Now that's just, uh, the brushes might just fall out so be careful, you can either take them out now or leave them in there until it's fully disassembled. And there's four screws. Um, one thing I should, we should do first is um, normally so I get this back in the right direction is I, I just got a marker pen and make a little, little mark so so the so the magnet is going to go back in the same way same position because i don't want this loco to run backwards there is a a red spot that uh, is also there put on by the manufacturers but uh, that might not be corrected someone might have remagged it backwards or something okay uh, that's We have four screws. There. Okay, now that just comes apart quite easily, just like that. Okay, one of the brushes is already popped out, but the other one's there. So there's the carbon brushes, and you can pro probably see the little slot in there for the uh, for the spring to go in. Now this is because uh, it's pretty much enclosed. This area in here becomes very dirty, and it's advisable to to, to clean it out every now and again. There is also this, the same type of steel ball in the bottom of this and an adjuster. So when, when we put it back together you need to undo the nut, undo the screw and then adjust it in the same way as we did with the, with the previous uh, chassis. This is the uh, motor, uh, this is the magnet and the armature, they come out together. Now this, this can be taken apart without, uh, without needing to, uh, to remag it again I believe. This can be cleaned the same way again as the little, the little grooves should be cleaned out with a toothpick or something and just generally cleaned. You can take it apart like this but uh, if it doesn't need to be taken apart just leave it like that. The, 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 the armature acts as a, 
uh, keeper for the magnet. Again this can be uh, cleaned out. Again there's a in the bottom bearing there's a there's a steel ball inside there you must be careful not to not to lose and it goes together very easily same same way as it came apart making sure like I've got that wrong making sure you line up the marks that we previously made there's a uh, nothing special that needs to be done to this so I'll put that back together later next we have the the castle uh, uh, castle motor this is the block castle the castle comes also with a ring field but this one is the block and I've taken the tender plug out just the same and uh, here we see it's a different design altogether, but it's still a, a, bl a block magnet. Uh, we treat it just the same as um, as the other block magnet motors. We can uh, you can lubricate in there, and the other end bearing we can lubricate there, and the and the gear and the gear, and the gear wheel. It has the adjuster for adjusting M, M play. Again, we just adjust a tiny amount of movement in the air. It's very easy to clean around and nothing unusual about it. The brushes are a very nice design on this. They, there's a spring clip like this and they just just fall out with a little a little shake maybe this one didn't there we go and uh, they only have uh, a couple of mil of uh, brush on them but they, they last quite a long time so this is just the same you would clean the slots out you would just generally clean around and and there's uh, no problems normally with these motors the, the magnets can be changed for the neo type magnet but uh, that's that's up to you okay i think that'll cover the different motors thank you very much for watching this video